Let's end this hour with the curtain call, your front row ticket to Broadway and beyond. With 13 Tony nominations, Stereophonic is now the most nominated play in Tony history. That includes a nod for Best Original Score, a category that usually only features musicals. This play is about a rock band making an album, so music does play an important role. I sat down with two of the show's Tony-nominated stars, Eli Gelb and Juliana Canfield, plus the man who wrote the music and lyrics, Will Butler, formerly of the band Arcade Fire. The interview took place on their stage. The scene, a recording studio in Northern California in 1976. actually learn the name of the fictional British band portrayed in Stereophonic. But we are certainly witnesses to the drama that's tearing these rockers apart. Sometimes you take these things out on me like you're rebelling. I never rebelled. Against, but I, I think, never rebelled. I was always a good girl. That's exactly it. I think you rebel against me. You're looking for something to push against and I'm the closest to you. What is Stereophonic about? <laughs> oh man. Uh, I kind of think it's about everything. I mean, it's about making art, but it's also about life and living life as a part of a world that is larger than yourself. It's about a band making a record, but it's also about, it's an epic. It's a very classical epic in some ways, like the Iliad, where you have, you have people that you might think of as demigods, as like 70s rock gods. And kind of like the Odyssey in that it just takes a long time for them to get done what they want to get done. Yeah. It's just like, Years at sea, <laughs> trying to get home. Inside this recording studio, the band is making their second album, while outside, their first record is climbing the charts, launching them towards superstardom. And they can feel that pressure. So could Will Butler, who was tasked with writing the play's music and lyrics. In the end, he got a Tony nomination for Best Original Score, which is rare for a play. How much pressure did you feel knowing this couldn't just be any music? This had to be like the music for a band that was about to become superstars. It was really funny. It's really, it's really dumb. <laughs> it's a really bad idea. Will Brill, who plays Reg and plays the bass in the band, was like, had, had known this play for a long time and was like, it'll be so dumb when they add music to this. This is such a great play, and why are you adding the music? And then, because it has to be really good. <laughs> it's just like, and then they play, like in the script, it's like, and then they play something transcendent. And you're like, <laughs> cool, I'll just write something transcendent. What do you think? Was it dumb to add the music, or did the music work okay? Super dumb. <laughs> no, I love the music, and it was part of what drew me to the play. I'm very proud of the album that we put out, but I also find myself listening to it because I just like the tunes, not because I'm trying to like, you know, up our counts or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a play with music that functions in this particular way before. Mm -hmm. I hope to see more. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's really exciting. Eli Gelb scored a Tony nomination for playing Grover, the sound engineer who's helping to mix the magic. I never engineered for the Eagles. You lied? A white lie. That's not a white lie. That, <laughs> that's significant. Juliana Canfield also got a Tony nom. She portrays Holly, one of five members of the band. Were you intimidated at all to, to sing on a Broadway stage? Totally. I mean, I was intimidated to audition, and they asked me to send in a tape of myself singing and I think I put it off for like two months or three months because I was so terrified about just sharing what I was capable of. And that's still that, that whole heavy dynamic between us is still very present and alive. Okay, so at this point, I know what you're probably thinking. It's a story about a band, three guys, two women, going through hell to make a game-changing album in 1976. There is only one possibility. Is it about Fleetwood Mac? Um, you know, I think we're our own band. You don't learn a lot about any historical personage by watching this show. You learn about the process of making art, yeah. and you learn about the struggles of being human. And some of the specifics are drawn from Fleetwood Mac. Some are drawn from um, the Eagles. There's a lot of Stephen Sondheim and Elaine Stritch in here. like. It is about Stephen Sondheim and Elaine Stritch. The takeaway from the show is not, I learned a lot about 
something specific. It's I learned a lot about. I mean, when I watch the play, I learn a lot about myself and the art that I've tried to make in my life, and it makes me feel horrible. <laughs> and it makes me happy to be seen, yeah. and it makes yeah. me feel sad, and it makes me feel alive, and it, you know, it, it fills me with contradictory emotions in a way that I, I think good art hopefully does. Stereophonic is playing now at the Golden Theater in Manhattan. It was just extended through January 5th. Yeah, that's next year. Wow. By the way, the official Broadway cast album is also now available, so you can listen to that transcendent music yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was made, which is actually a fantastic album. What's interesting, everyone says, is it Fleetwood Mac? Is it yeah, Fleetwood right. Mac? The, the playwright, David Adjami, will say, well, I don't know. I wasn't in the recording studio when Fleetwood Mac made their yeah. album. So no, it's not necessarily about them. There's certainly inspiration. I had never heard Elaine Stritch and Stephen Sondheim before. She was mm. kind of a muse for him and Broadway stuff. It's just fascinating to hear the conversations people have over who was this about and who inspired this. I just can't even imagine the pressure you get the script play something <laughs> transcendent i know exactly i mean that is too funny works. that is good i don't know i'm interested yeah it is almost every single person i know who's seen it has loved it there you so, go there all you right go. thanks for watching stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the nbc news app or follow us on social media